Let's play some Minecraft! What's up guys, it's Fahrenheit, and today we are going to be building redstone lighters. Now you might be asking me, Fahrenheit, why would I ever want to build a redstone lighter? Because we fucking can, mate! Alright, now listen up. If you're trying to get those Minecraft epic gains, you gotta push yourself, son. And sometimes that means building completely useless shit. Alright, the first lighter on our list is the one tap lighter. This works pretty much the way it sounds. Give it one tap, and it lights. Now you can only really put this out with your fist, but you know, it's a lighter. Numero dos on this list is the redstone match. Now this thing is completely fucking useless, but you know, it lights. Only for a few seconds, and you can punch it out too. These both work by taking any old block and putting a button on them for power. Sticking a dispenser full of flint and steels on top. And placing a block in front that the fire will actually light on. The only difference being one is built with nether racks so the flames never go out. Item number three on our list is the automatic redstone lighter. Now I'm kind of partial to this one because this is actually the first lighter that I built on the list. And it's a funny story too. One of the ways I actually get inspiration for my builds is by asking friends and relatives for ideas of what to build in Minecraft and just playing around with ideas that they give me. Now a week or so ago, I asked my wife to spitball me some ideas on what to build and she actually suggested the redstone cigarette lighter. Right now you're actually looking at the first prototype that was constructed immediately after the idea. Now my wife gave me very specific instructions on how she thought that this should be built and she suggested that I make the mechanism to where the lighter would only light while the button was being held down and would turn off when you let go of the button. And I took that idea and ran with it. Now even though this thing is ugly as hell, you could hide the redstone, place it a little bit better, you know, pretty it up if you wanted to replicate it. But it's a pretty simple concept. So this time we just start out with a nether rack and then we put the dispenser full of flint and steels on top and we put a sticky piston behind the nether rack so we can move the nether rack back and forth. The reason I did this is so when you let go of the switch, the nether rack would get pulled back and the fire would get extinguished automatically. The other half might look a little alarming if you are new to redstone but it's actually really simple. When slime blocks are pushed by pistons, any blocks that are touching slime blocks will go with them. So these redstone blocks can power any powerable block. Since the slime block can take these redstone blocks with them, we can hook a piston up, a sticky piston. That's important so the slime block comes back. And the slime block attached to the sticky piston will take the redstone blocks with it and activate both of these at the same time. And that's how it works. Again, you can take this concept and rebuild it however you want so it doesn't look like shit. I just left everything the way it is for educational purposes. Moving on, this next one is the flip-flop lighter. And this one is easily the most complicated one here. So I actually started by building a hopper dropper T flip-flop. If you don't know how to build one of those, Mumbo Jumbo has a great video on that and I'll actually link it in the description for you guys. Now on this first output right here we have a mono stable circuit that outputs a three tick pulse. Now the three tick pulse is important because you want this observer to fire twice and if the pulse is too fast it will only fire once. This observer is wired to a dispenser with a bucket of water. Now for those of you who don't know, if you have a bucket full of liquid in a dispenser, giving it a redstone input will actually empty the liquid out. And if you have an empty bucket and the dispenser is facing a liquid, giving it a redstone input will pick the liquid back up. So we need this observer to fire twice, so it will dump the water out and put out the fire and then immediately pick it back up so it doesn't make a mess and destroy all the redstone. The second output on the flip-flop actually hooks directly up to our dispenser with flint and steel. So what this does is it just lights it. So when we push the button once, this dispenser gets hit and lights that fire. When we push the button again, 
We dump the water out, and then it picks the water back up, and the fire's gone. Since it's netherrack, the fire obviously stays lit forever. So I kind of thought it would be cool to add a flip-flop mechanism to this, saying, you know, if it's on, let's push it and turn it off. If it's off, let's push it and turn it on. Now this lighter is the best one on the list, in my personal opinion. It's the most realistic, honestly the most practical. It's one of the smallest designs. You really get the biggest bang for your buck with this one. So for those of you non-delinquents who aren't really hip on cigarette lighters, most lighters actually have a button that controls the fuel and a flint that you have to strike to light it. So this is kind of trying to copy that idea a little bit. The pressure plate acts as our fuel button and the button acts as our striker flint. So the pressure plate has to be held down for a fire to be struck but the button also has to be pressed. So it's like a, a built-in safety. I'm not gonna lie when I built all those other ones over there I was kind of pissed when I came up with this one because I mean look how simple it is. You just have the pressure plate going down to some redstone and then you have the redstone power a block, any solid block, and once that block is powered, if you put a piston on top of it, it will power the piston, and it will pull this bad boy out. Really simple stuff. And the next part is just a button attached to a solid block, so when the block gets powered by the button, the dispenser gets activated. You push the button, nothing happens, you pull out the nether rack, then push the button, and then we have a fire. And then when you let go, the fire goes out. Really, really easy stuff. This last one on our list I had to include, and it's not really a cigarette lighter-esque device. This is actually the mob lighter, and I really, really like this because of how simple it is inherently. Now, I build with redstone a lot, so I find myself needing two redstone bursts here and there in a lot of my redstone builds, and if you've never figured out how to get that effect properly your activating mechanism can do it because when you push a button and then let it go both of those are block updates and since this detects block updates it will output when you push it and when the button comes back out so there's your two inputs right there easy you can also like i did over here hook up a three tick pulse and when the pulse turns on you get an output then when it turns back off you get an output again. So this is really cool for devices like this where you need consecutive inputs for them to work. If you wanted to actually incorporate this concept into a build, you would have to do it differently, of course, because any mob you try to trap on that iron block right there will just walk right off. But if you put it high up enough and you give it the ability to trap mobs, any mob you put on there is pretty much going to burn alive and die. And it will drop cooked meat since it died on fire, which is a nice bonus. And that about wraps it up for the redstone lighters, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps. And if you want to see more content similar to this, subscribe and hit that bell so you can see more videos from me in the future. I definitely plan on making a lot more videos and entertaining you guys to the best of my ability. Now like I said earlier, I do like taking suggestions as inspiration for my build. So if you guys want to see a concept that you haven't seen anybody else touch upon before or you want to see it redone and explained in my style, Go ahead and leave that in the comments. Let me let me know what you guys want to see, and I will do my best to try and build that and put it on the channel. You guys have been a great audience. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.